I thought it was going to take us all year to, to get to Moscow. But there is not much fight left in the Soviets. Why are you strategically redeploying? What? That was an odd strategic redeploy to move up two provinces. Honestly, at this point, we could probably just go to speed four? Like, nothing intense is really going on right now. Battle plan for army group two is basically done. We have another wounded person, that's cool. Battle group one is getting there. How does piecing out work in this game? Do you have to capture everything or will they surrender? Uh, they will surrender at some point. So on the map here, you'll notice these little uh, boxes. They're usually over cities. Each one of these boxes are victory points. And when you take enough victory points away from the enemy, they will automatically capitulate. Um, now straight up territory, I think does contribute two victory points as well, but it's just on a smaller scale than taking an actual victory point. One of these cities or territories that have a little box on them. And then the capital is usually worth more victory points. So, ideally, you go for the victory points. Um, the Soviet is... They're, they're getting closer. Actually, I guess we got to double-click this. Actually, no, they're not. They're only at 50%. Holy crap. It controls 57% of their victory points right now. They capitulate when they have 20% or less. But when Moscow falls, I think usually that's... That, it's getting pretty close, because we can take Moscow, then we take Stalingrad, because I don't think there's that many victory points out here. I think most of their victory points are concentrated in this area. Like, as you can see, there's really not much fight left in it uh, anyway. I say as we're no longer pushing. Alright, I think we may need to draw up another battle plan here, at least for Army Group 2. So let's put them on a halt. Delete this push order. And then... And I'll take Moscow. And all the way up to this river. Ah. Ah. Why not? Let's take Stalingrad while we're at it. So we're planning for that one. And then, you know, while we're at it, let's halt this army advance as well and get one more plan too. We'll double up on the taking of Moscow and then you guys will go probably up to here. I imagine when we get up to here, it's going to be pretty easy just to go boop and take all that. Oh yeah, why are you not included on this? There we go. No? There we go. Still not. Maybe because we don't have the supplies, so it's just like not... Because I'm assigning them to the group. But then as soon as I let, let control down, they get unassigned. Huh. Uh, yeah, we are improving the infrastructure right now. Upgrade the rockets. That's weird. You think they are not in place to be in the plan? I mean, they... Hmm. Hmm. It looks like they're at least repositioned. You know what? How about I give you your own plan? How about that? You're going to help support the push up here. 
And your job is going to be to take this. There we go. They're trying to avoid attention. Or attrition. Oh, I thought you said attention. They're like the people in the back of the classroom just like, ah, we're not here. Oh, I forgot these tank divisions were still here. Oh, um. Delete that. Join the rest of your friends. Why do we need to plan? Just move forward while firing your guns periodically. You know what? I like that idea. What I don't like by uh, when I see your name Picard there it reminds me that I read an article on what uh, the new Picard series may be for Star Trek, and Picard or uh, Prophet Stewart mentioned that his character is going to be really different. That Picard is not going to be like the same Picard that you knew, and I'm like, uh oh. What do you mean? Is he going to be like a dark and brooding Picard now? Is like what? What? How? Mm, what do you mean? Like, what kind of Picard are we getting? Are we getting First Contact Picard? Are we getting Classic Picard? Yeah, I know the tanks are still pushing. I'll let them push. It's fine. They've been pretty slow at it. They're slowly inching towards Moscow. As far as you know, he's going to be an admiral. Patrick Stewart is super old now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Patrick Stewart is pretty super old now. <laughs> he's going to be like movie Picard? Well, which movie Picard are we talking about? Nemesis? First Contact? Next Generation? Or New Generation? Is that what that movie was called? With the ribbon in space? And then Whoopi Goldberg existing within the ribbon, but not within the ribbon? Generation, that's what it was called? Okay. How's our plan going? I'm seeing a lot of blue bars. Well. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good enough. Let's go. How are you doing? I think they just got up there. Well, actually, maybe not, because a lot of them have plans. All right, you know what? You go. Good luck. <laughs> we'll get the X-Men Picard. All right, well, which X-Men Picard are we getting? <laughs> Are we getting Logan Picard? Are we going to get X-Men 1, 2, 3 Picard? Are we getting X-Men The New Generation Picard? The Logan one? Uh, I hope it's not that one. I liked him in that movie, but I don't want that to be Picard. Let's check our reserves. Still low on the artillery. Surprise, surprise. Alright, let's add some more. We're going to trade for some more tungsten. Try and get those out there on the front lines. Uh, yeah. Oh, we don't need to export as much of this. Let's lower that down. Lower this down. There we go. The card is going to be the Mr. Miyagi of Starfleet. People are going to be polishing phaser rifles. <laughs> Mr. Miyagi. Wait, then who's the Karate Kid in this one? Riker? With his beautiful beard. Weasley? I guess that would be closer in terms of the age gap. But I mean, even like Weasley, um, Will Wheaton is... He's getting up there too. Oh, also, friends, we are uh, almost to Moscow. <laughs> the thing is, though, like, this war has just been kind of easy. It hasn't really been difficult. The Russians basically just are shooting paintballs at us, and we casually walk forward. So it's not as exciting as, like, the push for Berlin and the uh, capitulation of Germany soon after.
Am I complaining? Well, no, I'm just saying it's... I, I enjoy that we're beating the Soviets. I'm just saying, like... It's not as exciting as when we killed the Germ uh, the Germans. Because the Germans actually had a lot of fighting in them. I mean, hell, do you remember that pocket of Germans? That will forever live on in infamy? We're probably going to have a day named after the Germans who lived... Uh, where was it? Back here. It was around Allenstein. That pocket of Germans that just survived for months and months. Remove the wings from our socks to give us handicap. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Oh, hey, we can um, update our planes. Cool. Alright, MPs, you always wanted those upgrades. There you go. Now it's your time to shine. So, production, we need to change this fighter to the jet fighter. Oh, or rocket interceptor? Wait, what? Air attack 47. Air attack 36. Air superiority 1. Air superiority 1. What? I don't... Which one of these do I want? These we can make quicker. Oh, man. Their range is terrible, though. Oh, God. Yeah, I saved the range. is like the last thing I was looking at. Should not have done that. All right. That is a super short range. Oh, hey, friends. We're at Moscow. I guess we should maybe play a song. All right, man, they didn't even fight for that. Oh, uh, thank you for the wow, Mango. Okay. Oh, we still got more factories. Oh shit. Okay, let's uh do this, do that. There we go. Can we see the infrastructure? Um, what would that be, like, resource? No, sorry. Supply areas. Is this what you want to see? And then, I guess we can also view it from construction? 8 out of 10? That's what I'd probably give Moscow, yeah, sure, 8 out of 10. And we're still building a... Oh, actually, no. I guess we're only repairing now. Well, we built up all that infrastructure that I queued up. So that's cool. Um, now we need to repair a whole bunch. So let's... Let's also queue this up. So we'll make a railroad of eight. I guess. So then we can connect up to Moscow to eight. And then we'll let that go. But now what we should also do is switch back to... Repairs. 
Because we have a lot of repairs to do. What's the capitulation of Russia? Let's see. I feel like this lags sometimes. Soviet is 66% towards capitulation. There we go. They've lost 13 million. Holy. Wow. That's like, what was that, over 4 million since the last time we checked? Holy. Oh, I guess we're up to 2 million. We just need Stalingrad? Well, you know what? We're making a put. You know, here we go. Keep the song going. Going for the new capital. There we go. Uh, Sabaton made music for Europa Universalis. I believe, right? Push, my friends! It was the one thing I couldn't get in that game because I didn't want to risk uh, copyright. <laughs> I remember. Might as well research this, I guess. Come on, tanks! Aw, are we not gonna get it this right now? All right, hold up, hold up. Let's make a battle plan. Spearhead. Let's get a planning bonus. Plan that up. Let's do uh, staff office plan. Let's get this going. Watch these blue bars fill up, and then we'll take Stalingrad. Guess that is going. Still pushing. Hey, look at this! Our northern push is going well. We got a lot of a lot of things up here. We don't care about docks. Don't care about that. We don't care about that. Hey, did you know we're at war? Oh, I guess I can't dismiss that one. Missing equipment production for fighters. 
Oh, because Jet Fighter doesn't just go into fighters. Right. So now we're missing out. Oh, I see. That is true. Hmm. That's fine. Do you guys know Sabaton kind of has a history channel now? Wait, what? Ah, damn this attrition. Damn you. That is super unfortunate. We need a ton of tungsten? Oh, thank you. I missed that. There we go. Let it be so. Bars of filling. Eh, yeah, let's just let's just go. Good luck, tanks. Who's next after the Soviets? Um, it would be Japan and their China allies. And apparently the Dominion of Oh wait, no. That's the good wait. I missed something down here. So the British Raj went to the Dominion of India. When did that happen? Last time I checked down here, Siam was still fighting the D the British Raj, and now they're the Dominion of India, and Siam has been pushed back. Interesting. Interesting. That was two years ago, was it really? Jesus. Shows you how much I care about the British Raj. Listen, when you fight Soviets, you got a little time to care about the British Raj. There it is! Stalingrad is in sight! Our initial attack was a failure. That's okay. We'll bounce back. We will surround the city and take it. Man, this has been a long January push. We're in June now. Stalingrad is a trap card? What is this, Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah, we're going around. We're going to circle it and then take it. I haven't forgot about you though, Stalingrad. They are leaving though, as we're putting more pressure on the outskirts of it. When we take these two provinces, we'll collapse in on Stalingrad. Hold the line. You hold that line. You hold that damn line! Push for Stalingrad! There we go, got reinforcements. And Stalingrad falls! Wow, that was really quick. Maybe they forgot that the name of that city was Stalingrad, that they couldn't actually um, surrender from, or uh, pull back from there. Go for Baku? Baku? You have to forgive me, I don't know Baku. Down? Uh, oh, Jesus, that's so far down. Listen, guys, we're up here, man. Let's check the logistics. Hey, we're catching up! Two days! Shortage is done! Perfect! 
Perfect. All right, let's invest all new um, factories to our jet fighters. And we're going to need more tungsten. The U.S. is there for us. This is oil, right? Let's see. Yeah. Uh, we don't even need oil, though. I mean, it's nice. But, like, I don't, I don't really need it. If anything, I need this tungsten right there. God, look at all these. How does the Soviets lose? Look at all the natural resources they start with. Man. How close are they to capitulation? Uh, did we take Stalingrad? Yeah, we did. All right. Let's see. They're getting close. 37% of control points. Or victory points. They're getting close. What's their new capital? Can we see it from this far out? Would be a giant X. Does it say in here somewhere? Ah, well, whatever. We'll keep pushing. We'll eventually take enough. Nice! Push up here was successful. Right now I'm just looking for the capital icon. I do not know where it is. Alright, well, we're not gonna look anymore. We'll just keep pushing and eventually we will win. Man, that dude gets wounded all the time. Alright, battle group one. Let's halt. Delete this plan. Make a new plan. Now that we're past this, this plan is going to be a little ambitious. We're going to push up to the mountains. A little ambitious, I know. Uh, we'll say about like right there. Yeah, that works. And then battle group two. Delete your current plan. Stop. Your new offensive line. I'm sure the allies can push that a little bit. So we're going to want you to go like this. Plan for that. It's going to be on the east coast. Their capital. Oh, Jesus. Really? Oh my god. Well, listen. I'll do my best to push that far. But I'm pretty sure they're going to capitulate before we get there. Just a feeling I got. Ooh, and we need to make a new plan for uh, this army. That's kind of up on its own. So, let's do that. Offensive line. And let's see. They should capture everything on, along the way, right? So if you don't know, if you just hover over the battle plan, it shows you their uh, like attack path, what the AI is going to plan. Weirdly enough, though, it's not incorporating this coast. So let's do like that. Yeah, it'll work itself out. So stop, and then plan for that. We are at war with Japan, yes. So when the Soviet Union capitulates, we're going to have to redeploy our forces to... Who's, who's friends with Japan here? Oh, okay. So um, basically, the north part of the Dominion of India, all the way to the coast. Which may be even a crazier lot. Well, I guess to bet. So up to there. That's still a lot of territory to cover. What is your plan? Let's make you let's give you a new plan. You What are you gonna do? You're gonna be in the middle. You're gonna push from the middle. 
And then you're going to spearhead all to the mountain. Well, let's say an offensive line to the mountains. We got 21 tank divisions. I think we can afford to slowly move up. Yeah. That looks fine to me. Plan that. And you, I have not forgotten about you. Not a part of any of these battle plans. Ah, you know what? It's fine. We've been doing well without you as part of the active plan. We'll be, we'll be fine. How are we going to get to Japan? Well, listen, we're going to leave that to the allies. I'm going to take all of their land holdings here and then just throw insults at them across the, uh, the ocean there. That's my plan for Japan. What was that? Oh, planes and reserves. Yes. Oh, yes, also our other planes that were left way the hell back here. We need to move you into Moscow. No, go into Moscow. Where's my other planes at? Uh, let's see. Put this fighter wing there. That wing in Moscow. Yeah, that seems right. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. At this point, we probably should have air superiority, right? I mean, it looked like we did. How many planes does Russia... Oh, wait, we're pushed all the way up there? Jesus. Really? Did we cut... Oh my god, we're gonna need a closer airport! Uh, because we need to cover that. There is no closer airport. Well, I don't know. Push play. Push play. Mm, what? They still have that many planes? God. All adults serve with only 50k manpower. <laughs> How's Italy doing in southern Russia? They're doing fine. They cut a swath through. I assume they would because we're taking most of the Soviets up here, so they don't have much to give down to here. Is this the UK? This looks like UK, right? Yeah. So they got that. They'll take care of that. Uh, why are you guys not going? There we go. They're not even scrap scraping the barrel barrel yet. Yeah, I know they're they're not, and I don't know if they're going to get a, a chance to, because they're probably going to capitulate when we get to the mountain range, right? Maybe slightly pass. But I think this is when they usually capitulate. Yeah, this is fine. So leaving this army away from the offensive battle plan just means that they're going to fill in behind our attacking troops just in case things go bad. And then they can defend. Not that I think we really need to. That's fine. Why would they capitulate? Russians will want me to push to Vlad- No. No, they will not. They will give up soon. They have to give up soon. Alright, um, our jets. So, let's say... What airport is that? 200 planes? Oh, Stalingrad. Hey, hello. Where's our jet fighters? There we go. We got 100 already? Excellent. You will operate out of the step, I guess. Our brand new jet fighters. Woot woot. I do love how the Allies are not really losing too much in this push for the Soviets, because they are just... Like, look at this! They're way back here! Because of supply issues. Do the Polish care? 
Nah. We should, but we don't. My planes are all grounded because the Asaras needed all the wings. Damn it. Oh, I didn't assign you a mission. Oh my god. There we go. They were grounded. But because I didn't give them a mission. Alright, friends. We can take... Come on. Get, get going. What are we doing here? Push in. Come on. They're on their last legs. Why do I have to make all the battle plans? Come on. Oh, right! Our winged Asars! God, I keep forgetting that we need to upgrade these guys. Jeez. These are the elites of the elites. I honestly forget what's different about- Oh, they're the ones that are mechanized. That's what's different about them. So most of our army currently is on this elite one, where it's just seven, two artillery, and some support. And then we're transferring those to the winged Tassars, which are now the mechanized with mobile artillery and support. So these are like the best of the best. And I've been forgetting to upgrade them. I'm a fool. Ah, okay, well, I guess we need more mechanized. Really? Go up to... Go up to 40. We'll be able to fulfill that here soon, as we capture more of their stuff. Yeah, mechanized Tassars. Exactly. That's why we call them the Wings of Sars, because they're actually, you know, they're our modern-day cav. And then eventually modern-day cav will be, what, helicopters? Can I make a Polish Voltron out of the mecha horses? <laughs> no. Unfortunately not. Look at all this political power we got. Hey, you guys want to have a faster naval research speed? Let's do it. <gasps> Wait, what? Further expanding on its conquest in the south, the Empire of Japan has seized Sydney and the Australian capital, Canberra. Local defenders were forced to retreat across Sydney Harbor Bridge to new positions on Observatory Hill. But attempts to demolish the bridge were thwarted by advancing Japanese forces, who then pushed on to take Canberra. The Japanese war flag can now be seen hanging from the Parliament House in Canberra which serves as the headquarters of the area's new military administration, and the Kem Kempetai military police are maintaining a watchful eye on the streets. Damn. Australia has fallen. Falling. Wow. Well, when we get involved in the land war for China, maybe we can help relieve the Allies. Yeah, when I saw Wales, I thought they were talking about England, and I was like, wow, things went really bad when I wasn't looking. If Japan is at the UK, that's really bad. But no, they are just talking about Australia. <laughs> like, who even lives in Australia? Giant bugs and kangaroos. I need submarines. Do I have a subfleet? Here. Take a look at this production line. You tell me. Australia has capitulated. Time to engage the koala warfare doctrine. Where we all eat and take a nap. I like it. I mean, I suppose I could divert some of our steel production to making a navy. But, honestly, I haven't done any research in the Navy yet. So... You know. New Zealand still stands. Yep. The Hobbits are safe. There's not much I really need to do here.
We're probably going to have to stop the um, advance here in October and get ready for the January push of 19 or 1947, not 77. Soviet still got some fight left in him. It's a war score. Um, let's see. Oh, it's pretty close. We need ten percent more victory points. Are there more victory points up here? No. Already took them. We'll probably relocate this army up here and then give them another battle plan to take the northern coast specifically. Let's see what the actual battle plan for this is. Yeah, okay. You know what, you're right. We could just, I guess, grab that. But really, I'm just kind of waiting for um, this to be over. Let's go, friends. We can do this. I believe in you. Screw the attrition. If some of you die, it's fine. Alright, so we have more planes. I'm assuming those are going to be our jets. Is that assumption correct? Maybe not. What planes are available? Oh, close air support. We have a giant stockpile of those. Okay. Well, that is going to be over here. With these. And we will move you... Somewhere. Move you down there. And you can support this over here. There we go. Not many uh, giant airports in this part of the Soviet Union, as it turns out. Oh, you poor troops. The marsh is not going to save you. Those aren't tanks pushing your way. Alright, so let's... Uh, how about we go back to upgrading our navy, huh? So you think submarines is what we need? Yo, I got you. Let's do it. If you make a bunch of boats, you can lend them to the U.S. so that they can take care of Japan. Ooh. Do you think the AI will do that? You think they're good enough to take care of Japan if I just give them boats? Because I, like, when I say I hate the Navy stuff in this game, like, I really hate it. I would play Japan, but that means I have to do a lot of Navy stuff, and I'm just like, well, I can't be bothered to do that. The AI is not good enough to do that. Fuck. That means I have to be. Like, I think the Navy in this game is worse than Europa Universalis. Push! Push! Oh, research. How about a naval doctrine? Um... A strong fleet focused around battleships. Against a stronger naval opponent, we can focus on tying up their fleet and destroying supply lines. Will this be like sub stuff? Sure, let's do it. There it is. Overwhelm them here. It's a good point, Scorn. It's a good point. God, so much research is... Uh, okay, hey, you guys, y'all want some... Uh, I don't know. Battleships are cool. Oh, and... 
carriers are needs. Oh, but that means we need to recruit or uh, build carrier fighters. Nah. How about how about destroyers? How long does it take to move in there? I know it's Marsh, but all right, there we go. All right, so now this person we can delete all their battle plans, and then we're gonna reposition this army here. And their whole job is going to be taking this coastline. All the way up here. Wait. Okay, no, this works. Alright. I saw where the line was coming from, and I was thinking that it was drawing it from the from the entire army group. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Maybe this is too ambitious of a, of a battle plan. Hold on. Maybe we make it a little bit smaller first. Because that line was going kind of crazy. Let's just say, how about here? Uh, yeah, something like something like this. Beautiful, like it, love it. You need landing crafts if you want to finish off Japan. Ah, right. We would, wouldn't we? We need to do naval landings. Whoa! Hey, man, you got cut off. Hey. That's not nice. That is not nice, horsey. You think a bunch of horses are going to stop our artillery? Actually, what are these made out of? <laughs> They're sending in their police. <laughs> you know they're desperate when they're sending in their police. <laughs> our troops on the front line, they just hear these sirens coming. Like, wait a minute, are they... Are they sitting in the police force on us? The cops are here! Run! Oh, come on. Just let us through. Hide the drugs. It's the Popo! Mr. Popo! All right, I understand that all of you hate attrition, but come on, come down here. Oh, whoops. I turned the order off. My bad. Turn it on. Shouldn't they be turning into little rail car icons? Do not have the infrastructure up here to do it? You wonder where Hitler is? Probably dead. There we go. I had to force the issue. Hit control B. Whoa! Hey! Free civilian factories! What what? What what what? Infrastructure. Let's let's uh let's test this out. Um let's see, so eight, 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 eight. We're still building that up, so that's gonna be eight. Let's see, six, seven, eight, eight. That'll be eight. And I'm pretty sure that it works this way. As long as we have a railroad of eights, the supply won't be choke pointed. And then, in, like in the front lines, we want to filter it out to different things. We definitely want to try and get a railroad of resources down through here for sure. Um, to the point where, let's go back to our capital, which is somewhere over here. There you are. So let's just get that going. We'll raise these all up to 10. So what is it, like shift click? There we go. The great infrastructure project of 1946. And now we want to change our focus back to engineering to make that faster. Did I get the Polish national focus that gives you naval research bonus? Yeah, I did. We got that uh, just a little while ago.
are still moving up to the front line. I'm just going to press play on this. You may go when ready. Tanks still going? They're kind of going. And by going, I mean they're standing still. Come on, friends. It's still like this. Okay. All right. The Soviets have, like, no fight left in them. Oh, I guess they... Those do. These don't. Move your ass! How is Italy and the UK not taking this little bit of territory? My god. They gotta be close. 27%. Oh my goodness. Let's see. We got a victory point here and here. There's a victory point for them down there that we're going to have to rely on the allies to take. We can push for this. Astrakhan. Oh god. Alright. Let's try and surround Astrakhan. A lot of divisions sitting in there. You, come down here and help us. We need to cut off Astrakhan and then we can take it. Beautiful. Yes. Yes. I like it. Yes, leave the city. Leave! God, they just, they have no fight left in them. Beautiful. All right. Take that city. Alright, we may need more than just one person attacking. If the allies were to join us in this attack, it would go very quickly. Never mind, we're cool. Just two divisions at half organization here is fine. That's how defeated they are. <laughs> There we go. Another victory point has fallen. That was worth 1%. 1%. We got, uh, let's see, two more victory points there and there. Another one up there. And there's just wilderness up here. Oh, hey, there's one. Got a port. Come on, guys. How have you not taken Baku? Well, let's see. Check logistics. We are good, 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 good. Okay. So let's just deploy everything into, or put everything into that jet fighter. Everything into the jet fighter. Get some more tungsten. We can cancel some of our chromium. Thank you, Turkey. Turkey has been a major player in our war. They have single-handedly funded us all the chromium we have needed to build our tanks. You know what? We do have access down here, don't we? I just assumed that the allies would take this. I mean, they, they will. Eventually. We should invade Turkey. If I justify on Turkey, Turkey will probably join the allies. Hey, they're improving relations with me, though, too. The independence of Turkey is guaranteed by the Kingdom of Romania. Ah, uh, hey man, I got, I don't know if you got the memo, but I got some bad news for you, buddy. Kingdom of Romania doesn't exist anymore. I guess technically they exist until the end of this war with uh, Japan, until they're officially destroyed. I'd invite Turkey to our faction if they were willing to do it. Oh my god! I got troops there, there! Who the f dropped that?
And why? Why even drop that Ufa? What is what is Ufa anyway? Like it doesn't even have any buildings. To why? What do the people of Ufa do to you? Oh, is it Alf? Am I mispronouncing this? Where was that? Oh, no, Ufa. The US and UK love to drop nukes once they have them. Damn. God, those poor people of Ufa. Like, next to the mountains, they're probably just a bunch of, like, shepherds and stuff. Great, you nuked a bunch of sheep. Do you feel powerful now? Oh, wow, yeah, this is a pretty major pocket, isn't it? Um. Alright. The problem is we're also kind of stretched thin up here. Support that. Nukes convert sheep into mutton. <laughs> Oh, that's messed up, man. Hmm. New plan for you guys. Let's try and get this cut off. Spearhead that. Do you have all the divisions assigned to this? Who the hell are all of you? That's not 21. Where are you guys hiding? Hmm, all right. At least they're moving. Put them on aggressive? Are we on aggressive? Oh, I guess we're not. Sure. I thought we were on aggressive. I must have took them off at some point. It's almost January again? Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a good point. Alright, at the end of October, we'll halt. Roman Abraham! They're not even moving. <laughs> like, they're barely moving. <laughs> Like, you want us to do what? Alright. Halt the plans. Halt the plans. New battle plans. Actually, no, that plan is basically the same. Up to the sea. You already got your battle plan, and then these guys... Uh, honestly, this battle plan still works. Just halt for now. I said halt, damn it! Or don't, it's fine, whatever. If you want to keep fighting when we're on a break, it's fine. We might need to move our Air Force up again. Good call. Well, we have a limited amount of places we can go up here. Let's split this air wing in half. We'll send up 200 to this small airport. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of tiny airports. Hmm. That's fine. We don't even need them. Hey, look at that. Well, that's the best tank in the game. I suppose we could maybe switch our production to that. 
Modern tank. Let's go. How many super heavies do we have now? Let's see. We have... 786. We've got over 2,000 heavy tanks. So that should keep us going until we get our supply of modern tanks up. We're low on the fighters, but we're not making them anymore. So that's probably why. And what else do we have? Um, we're already researching you. Battle cruisers? Sure. 